welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for July the 5th through July the 11th, 2021. And of course, we are doing a spot check for the two of you <laughs> lovebirds. Angels, high vibrations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the lovebirds for seven little days. Positive energy. What is going on? We have self-respect and travel of all the things that you can do travel is in the cards for you i feel like there is something that you want to do <sighs> there's something that you i feel like there's you want to do this and they want to do that and you want to do this and they want to do that they're not respecting what you, your ideas whether it's about a trip a job a move or yeah Remember, self-respect is very important. You need to be heard just like they do. Your opinions are just as important. That doesn't mean yell. No, it just means these are my opinions. <laughs> all right, now let's move on. There's nothing negative in that connotation at all. Just hold your maybe maybe agree to disagree. Maybe you do half of this for them and, and they do half of that for you. Makes sense? Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Now, angels, positive energy for singles looking for love. Let's take a peek. Angels, high vibrations. We have sexuality singles with aura cleanse. I'm picking up a celibate vibe here. Um, when you feel heavy or run out of luck, go swim at the beach and you will feel unstuck. I feel like somebody is feeling a bit... Yeah, like they need to be intimate with someone. Yeah, I, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go swim at the beach and you will feel a lot better in this situation. Someone's wanting, um, I feel like someone's wanting, yeah, I'm just feeling very celibate vibes this week. And you're like, yeah, Dora. <laughs> yeah, it is, Dora. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to your general message for the week thank you thank you and thank you let's take a peek at your thank you let's take a peek i feel like hmm angels we need some positive vibes for aries not aries somebody's somebody's got an aries in their world taurus or aries do you have a rising is your rising there's something with aries this week so and you're like, yeah, my brother's an Aries, or yeah, something, someone close to you, I feel like, is an Aries. Let's go ahead and add one from the Dragon's deck. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Remember, oh, we already added the Dragon's deck. Let's go ahead and top off this message with the Hummingbird deck. Yes, yes, and yes. Then we will add at the end... You're like, Dora, don't you dare add any more cards to this message. We're going to add at the end one message from the Buddha deck. Yes, to get the spiritual message for the week. And it is compassion. Yes, yes. And that could be compassion for oneself. Okay. Now, major theme for the week is the four of cups. I love it. It's reversed. Yes. With the five of hearts, opinions, ace of diamonds, and the nine of diamonds. So, whoa, you are finally focused on something that is secure in your world. You're not chasing any dreams or anything like that. You're only focusing on what is secure this week. Boy, there was a lot of work emotionally getting to this point. And I feel like there was a lot of whisper, a lot of opinions about you changing what you were focusing on, whether it be love, whether it be jobs, whether it, what career, whatever it was. I hear a lot of people saying, wow, they're finally, finally doing something new. They're finally letting go of what wasn't serving them. They finally let go of a relationship, a job, a house, a, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, you, 
you, you, that's cool. I'm just saying that's cool. Okay. All right. Now let's take a peek at the recent past. You had the Knight of Swords reversed with the King of Clubs. Multitask with the moderation. Lots going on. Queen of Diamonds and the Six of Hearts. So in the recent past, um, the Knight of Swords reversed is telling me that there was a lot of energy coming towards you. A lot. I feel like someone was telling you what to do. They felt like it was the right thing to do, but it felt controlling to you. And with the multitask, you wanted to, to do it your way, the slow way. The Queen of Diamonds, I feel like you had all the power that you... You wanted to do it your way. And with the Six of Hearts, I felt like your way was the long way, <laughs> okay? Now, that's in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, we have the Five of Swords with the Nine of Diamonds, the Health card, the Four of Hearts, and the Nine of Clubs. So I feel like with the Five of Swords, there's a third-party energy that's leaving. I'm picking up a third-party energy that is leaving. Yeah, it's you're releasing it or it's just releasing itself. It's actually good for the whole health of this, um, this, this situation. With the Four of Hearts, it might be good for the family. It might be good for the home. Um, this third-party situation, it doesn't have to be romantic, although it could be, but apply it to your life as it fits. It could be a it could be a relative that's come to visit that's kind of stayed too long. Or it could be a friend that's, you know, you, you know, you can, you know, I, I remember very a long time ago, um, you know, sometimes when people come to your house, sometimes people get out the vacuum cleaner and it's like, okay, I'm trying to let you know in a roundabout way it's time to go. I'm not saying I did that, but you know what I'm saying. With the nine of clubs, I see that whatever that energy is, you're, you're ready. You're ready for them to go. Okay. All right. Now, but have compassion in that. Now, when we look at the end of the week, we have the nine of pentacles. We have the queen of clubs, the grace card, five of spades, and the six of clubs. So by the end of the week, I see you in a really good place. You're holding your own. You are with the queen of clubs. You are. It's almost like you are giving direction. You are actually nurturing through knowledge. Okay, I'm not saying you're bossy. No, I'm not saying that. But you're in a position where you can give knowledge and it could be nurturing. Yes, do it with grace here. You are changing things in your world world with the six of clubs but be mindful be mindful of how you express this you're in a very good position right now by the end of the week you're in a position to be heard because you have things in order you know what to say you know how to say it and you know just the right moment to say it so take that positive energy and yeah, use it to the good, okay? All right, now, when we look at your bonus, you have the three, the three of swords reversed with the knight of, the, the, I'm sorry, the king of soul, the king of cups reversed with the 10 of diamonds, organize four of clubs and the ace of clubs. So your bonus is telling me that you are getting over something that has been, I feel like it's just been, it's not necessarily, a, it was kind of like a dull pain for, for quite some time, okay? And you're getting over, you're like, Phew, finally, finally. With the King of Cups reversed, I feel like you are, you're not giving it so much energy. You're just not giving it so much energy. I feel like there's other things in your world that's kind of superseding that, that's kind of overshadowing that, and it is abundance. It's almost like, you know what, I'm, I'm not worried about that anymore. Abundance is around me. I need to take care of how this money comes into my world, how this abundance comes into my world. I need to get organized. I need to figure out what it is I want to do. And this is all about you and how you think. You're taking control of your world. You're taking control of, I feel like whatever that was bothering you, um, whether it was a third party situation, I get third party situation all over this, but I don't necessarily feel like maybe you were dating two people, 
you apply this as it fits, okay? Maybe you were dating two people and you decided to, to just date the one that was stable, okay? stable um maybe you know just that that doesn't have to be your situation it could be you had more than one person in your life maybe like i said someone came to visit that didn't want to leave or maybe you had a friend that always had a their friend tag along and you're like Ugh. right yeah it's kind of like you know that situation but i feel like at the end of the week your bonus is telling me that you're gonna kind of voice you have the power to say, to use your throat chakra to speak, but speak with love. And then you're going to let it go and you're going to focus on other things in your world, okay? You're finally going to focus on not the things that make you worried or um, not secure. You're going to focus on what is secure and that there is going to bring you more abundance in your world, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.